In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate a PDF version of an article using Adobe Acrobat. Annotating your PDF is quite helpful if you want to store your article analysis electronically and communicate key information with others. You will need the comment toolbar for everything in this video. It does not show up by default, so you will need to choose Tools, Comment to open the comment toolbar. You can also click on Comment on the right hand side to open the comments toolbar. The comments and any text boxes that you add on the article will be displayed in the pane on the right hand side. I recommend that the first thing you do is create a legend. To do so, make a text box. Look in the comment toolbar for the letter T inside a box. Select it. Then find an open space on your article and click and drag the cursor to create a box. You will be able to change the size and color of the box later by deselecting the shape reselecting it and adjusting the size. Inside the box, list the elements that you will be extracting from your article. You will likely want to change the font type to one that is familiar and legible. You can do this under Text Properties by clicking on the capital and small a in the comment toolbar. You can now color code your legend. Select the text for each item in your legend, then click on the Text Properties menu item again. Choose a color that will be used in the article to highlight the text. Make sure that there is enough contrast with the text that you can still read the writing. Resize your legend so it is clear but does not block important information on the article. I recommend using the same legend for all articles that you're analyzing. Once you have finished creating the legend, simply select it, click on the three dots in the comment pane beside the text box, and select Copy Text. Alternatively, the shortcut Ctrl-C works well as long as you have the text box selected first. Then, open your next article and paste the completed legend in. The easiest way to paste it is with the Control v short keys. To highlight the corresponding text, simply select it, click on the highlighter in the comment toolbar, make sure you change your color to match the legend. You can also add a comment to the highlighted text to indicate why you highlighted it in the right-hand pane by clicking on the highlight that just appeared and typing in your comment. Type in your comment and click Post. To underline information, select the text and underline it. Use the underline T in the comment toolbar to underline text. You can also change the color of the underline. I recommend adding comments to indicate why you underline the information, unless you have repeated your legend on multiple pages. You can add relevant notes using sticky notes or text boxes. Text boxes will remain open, while sticky notes require the reader to select them to read them. Where possible, text boxes are more user-friendly for the reader, as they are less likely to get missed. If your reader is opening the document in another program, sticky notes may not open. Sticky notes may be useful for less important information. To add a sticky note, simply click on the speech bubble in the comment toolbar, or press Ctrl-6. Click on the location where you want your sticky note to appear. Use the Find function to help you find keywords in the article. Control F or clicking on the magnifying glass will help you locate keywords. If your article is not in a PDF, simply print the article as a PDF before getting started. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comments and by liking the video. For more help with annotations, see Adobe's website. I have provided the link in the description below.